Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to X Finds TV. I'm Melanie Dries. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance thank you you may now be seated today is monday april 3rd 2023 now let's take a nice and relaxing brain break first stretch your arms up and out as high and as far as you can and breathe in the fresh air as if you've just come out of your cave and stepped out to feel the warmth of the spring sun. As you breathe out, you're going to growl and make bear claws with your hands. <sighs> what a great way to start the week. Now is it a new word with word of the week? Also, why do you look so tired? Don't even get me started. My brother kept me up all night telling me the story that he's told me a million times. Sounds like you had a tough night. Yeah, it was pretty monotonous. Well, what was the story about? Are you sure you want to know? It's pretty long. Well, just tell me the short version of it. Okay, so it was about his Hot Wheels and how obsessed he is with them. Mm, tell me more. So... So basically, we gave him Hot Wheels for Christmas, and he's obsessed with them. He takes them everywhere he goes, and he said he wants to be a Hot Wheels creator. Mm, sounds like that story could go on forever. No wonder I kept you up all night. Yeah, it was pretty monotonous. Yeah, this story is actually really interesting. It was all right. It was just too long. Hadassah, Hadassah, look at my new Hot Wheels! Here we go again. That was so funny and a great new word, too. Now let's see what happened in Today in History with Hadassah. Thank you, Melanie. Good morning, Patriots. Today in History on April 3rd, 1973, the first mobile phone call was made in downtown Manhattan, NYC. This call was made by a Motorola employee named Martin Cooper. The phone was two and a half pounds and was called the Dynatac 8000X. It's almost as big as a shoebox. The call was actually to brag about the mobile phone to Motorola's nemesis. Nowadays, we have smaller mobile phones with more features such as the newer iPhones and Samsungs. Compared to our modern phone models, the Dynaphone was huge and wasn't as improved. Thankfully, our phones have come a long way from then. I can never imagine using a phone that's the size of my shoe. Now, let's check in with Jasmine for today's tasty lunch. Thank you, Hadassah. Today's lunch is beef nachos, salsa, light mayonnaise, seasoned corn, lettuce salad, diced tomatoes, Pineapple tidbits in your choice of milk. And tomorrow's breakfast is French toast sticks, syrup cup, graham crackers, fresh orange juice, 100% apple juice, fruit loops in your choice of milk. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch or breakfast can be at any time. And to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let you know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit! Now let's get back to Melanie. Thank you, Jasmine. I can't wait for lunch. This course instructional software challenge ends on June 2nd. It's great to get an early start on your lessons, so check the flyer for the requirements and get it done. Scholars, the spring NWA season is ongoing. Today, 5th through 8th graders will be taking their science NWA, and tomorrow, 2nd through 3rd graders will be taking their math NWA. Make sure to check the schedule to see when it's your time to test, and good luck to 5th through 8th. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It's important to make sure your phone is shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you're not allowed to chew gum at school. Make sure to spit it up before you're into the building. Students, the Patriot store will be closed tomorrow, but we'll be back up on Wednesday. 
Make sure to bring your tickets and get ready for when we open back. Calling all of middle school. We're looking for middle school students to participate in our game show segment. Make sure to sign up outside of room 200 if you are interested. Sports fans, this Wednesday our girls flag football team has their first game against Aces at 4.30 p.m. at Brian Piccolo Park. Let's go Patriots and good luck girls! Now let's see what the weather is looking like today with Destiny. Thanks Melanie! Hey Patriots, today's weather will be a nice 87 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. Make sure to step out and enjoy the day. In other weather news, what if I told you spoiled fruit could be a thing of the past? If you ever had fruit go spoiled, you know it's the worst. However, a researcher from Rice University might have a solution to combat this. They're developing a special egg-based coating that is meant to prevent microbial growth and dehydration. Did you know that 50% of all produce ends up being thrown away? This invention can help significantly reduce the amount of produce being wasted and allow fruit to be fresh for longer. Now, let's go to Aria for the birthdays. Thanks, Destiny. Today's birthday boys and girls are Valeria Poveda, Callan Powell, Valeria Romero Sanchez, and Wadia Oladell. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Ariel. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represent, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. No one got the correct answer to Friday's Daily Challenge, which was, how can the frog survive without any help? The correct answer was... And now for today's Daily Challenge. Daily Challenge. Name the computer accessory that is also an animal. Teachers, please send your answers to pinesdownrenaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. When does it be announced on the next morning announcements? Everyone, RPTV would like to wish you a marvelous Monday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day.